All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? Uh. Uh. On my mark. Go! I'll be late. I told you, I have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too. Day, or you forget about the whole thing. Uh, I don't care about any problem. He's here, finally. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year? Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko? I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Maiko, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I promised to help Judy. And here we are, thanks to her. But little Jude's cut from a different cloth than you and me. She's dreaming if she thinks she can have justice and peace in Night City without cuts, bruises, and blood. Meaning you want to replace Hiromi? Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect Clouds from other gangs? Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy've done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Do you think? Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sado's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Cloud Judy, needs I can't new focus. management. 
Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? With your permission. Over my dead body. We were gonna get rid of him. Am I to understand these as your conditions? Dolls of Clouds are declaring their independence. Club will be run by them, and only them. V, let me do the talking. Tiger Claws will get a cut of the revenue, but they'll have no say in how the club is run. Stop this right now! I'll get everything under control. You cannot even control your own mercenary. Hiromi will answer for his incompetence later. Whereas you will answer for your insolence. Nothing. I'll fuck you myself! Ugh! B, what the hell were you thinking? Are you any idea what's gonna happen now? What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. We can't know that for sure. Maybe the lives we cut short will be enough for the Claws. They do profit and loss better than Militech's CEO. They'll see it's not worth it. They wipe their hands of the mocks. Maybe clouds is due its freedom now. Time to let it go, my go. Get out! Get out now! All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gonk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. You don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. <laughs>